listening to Puck Talk Radio on ESPN Radio 96.3. I'm Nathan Doan along with my partners Jared Rosenblatt and Ashwin Johnson. Uh, we're going to be talking hockey here. Uh, if you want uh, anything to say, you want to call in, just give a call to 1-800-273-PUCK. Again, that's 1-800-273-PUCK. Uh, we're going to get right in. We're going to talk about uh, what teams are looking best coming out of free agency. Um, the New Jersey Devils are looking very well this season. They have a lot of new top prospects. They got Jack Hughes out of the draft, very young star, came from Florida, which is very surprising to have an NHL player coming out of Florida. And they just have a lot of potential this season, and I'm very excited to see what they're going to do. For me, I'm a homer, so it's the Florida Panthers. They not only have one of the nicest, youngest cores in the NHL, they also added a top five goaltender in Sergei Grabowski, and I said that right, and a defender, which is what we need. They are a good team, and they're going to become a great team. Uh, definitely, you're looking at the Colorado Avalanche. Definitely didn't get the pick they wanted. They were expecting to get number one, having Ottawa's pick in the Matthew Shane trade. Uh, but definitely looking good coming out of the draft. They got a steal at number four. They uh, wound up with defenseman Bowen Byron, the number one defenseman in the draft. Uh, he fell a spot, was expected to go number three to the Blackhawks. Uh, and the Blackhawks definitely took a surprising pick. Could have got him a little bit later, but they uh, still got a solid player who will be a top six forward for them. Uh, but the Avalanche are looking great coming out of the draft, coming out of free agency. They made a great trade with Toronto. Definitely their uh, defense is definitely stocked up now. They could definitely get, they, they uh, had enough uh, defensive depth to get rid of Tyson Berry and get that second line center that they needed in Nazem Kadri. Um, and this, uh, this site, uh, we're getting, we got a caller, we got Drew from Atlanta. What's up, Drew? Uh, so I'm a big Blues guy. Like, how do the Blues look coming out of the draft and free agency? Um, well, the Blues definitely uh, didn't have much in the first round. Uh, coming out of the draft, uh, they didn't have their first round pick. They gave it up in the Ryan O'Reilly trade with Buffalo. Uh, Buffalo uh, took a great player with that one, but uh, uh, St. Louis is looking relatively the same. They didn't lose any players. Uh, Pat, we're still waiting. Patrick Maroon hasn't announced where he's signing, but uh, what do you guys think about this one? Uh, I agree with everything you just said there, Nathan, but the Blues definitely have momentum coming out with that Stanley Cup victory, so we'll see how they go this season, but their team's ma mainly the same, but if they were good last year, they definitely have a chance of staying good this year. And what about you, Jared? The Blues and Bruins remind me of the uh, Capitals and the Golden Knights. They're both not going back to the Stanley Cup Finals. All right, all right, that's a hot take real quick. This next segment is brought to you by Sports Illustrated Kids. Uh, so uh, we're going to get into our way too early Stanley Cup predictions. Uh, Stanley Cup Finals, we got Colorado Avalanche facing off against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, going seven games with the Avs coming out on top. Uh, Nathan McKinnon winning the Calder. And uh, what do you got? That would definitely be a good matchup, and I'm definitely a Lightning fan at heart. Like, definitely my team. But I honestly think that this year would probably be the Devils versus the Avs, honestly. Like, both of those teams are very good after coming out of the draft, and they both have major potential this season. And that's just going to be a very exciting game if that's where it goes. Uh, you talk about both teams, like, both teams having uh, really deep young talent. Uh, we're going to get your take on this, Jared. It's obviously going to be the Ottawa Senators and the Minnesota Wild. <laughs> <laughs> the two most irrelevant teams in the league. The uh, Ottawa Senators and the Minnesota Wild are the worst teams in the NHL, but that's a very, some, very good okay. thing. Exactly. Right there. Please you heard it here for us. So, it, you heard it here first. This is hockey. Everything's unpredictable. The worst teams will be the best teams. The best teams will be the worst teams. Oh my goodness, it's going to be a hit. It's going to be hectic. I have a question. I mean, you are right. You right. are kind of right about that. I mean, coming out, like, their first thing, not I mean, their on the on girl season, uh, Vegas came out and made it to the Stanley Cup final. Uh, that was definitely not predicted. They just had that momentum and they went with it. Um, and our next segment uh, is, one, is brought to you by Wendy's. Uh, spicy Chicken Nuggets coming back on August 19th. Uh, and uh, we're going to get into our top five draft pick analysis. So for the top five draft picks, you got uh, New Jersey taking Jack Hughes, uh, New York taking Capo Caco, Chicago taking Kirby Doc, um, Colorado taking Bowen Byram, and LA taking uh, Alex Turcotte. And which of these do you think is the best pick or the best steal in your opinion? Honestly, that's a tough question. Obviously, I'm a Hughes fan because I think he's an extremely talented young man, but they all are, so they all have so, many, so much potential, and they're all going to bring so much to the teams that they were drafted to. So we'll just see how it goes from there. I uh, definitely think Bowen Byron is the steal of the draft. 
going down, or uh, actually Cole Caulfield's the steal of the draft, but steal of the first five is definitely Bowen Byram. He dropped down and picked the abs. Uh, Chicago took a solid player, but they still could have uh, gotten him lower, say five or six. They could have traded down, gotten something back in return, but they still got a great solid player. You know what the NHL is run by? They're run by Europeans. Those are the best players. That second overall pick, Capo Caco, I don't know if I said that right. He's going to be a star, a superstar in his second year with the New York Rangers. Mark my words, you heard him here, you heard him here first. All right, thanks for tuning in to Puck Talk on ESPN Radio 96.3. I'm Nathan Doan, joined with my partners Jared Rosenblatt and Ashton Johnson. Have a great day.